Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making fruit tarts. I'll take you step by step on how I made the pastry shell and the pastry cream. I made this over a couple of days, so don't mind the wardrobe changes. All of the ingredients can be found in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you, let's get started. First, I'm starting off with the pastry dough for the pastry crust. The pastry crust is also referred to as the short crust pastry, pastry shell, or the tart shell. Start by adding powdered sugar to all-purpose flour, and then add in your butter. With clean hands, mix until you get a sandy texture. You can also make the pastry dough with a food processor. Next, add in one egg yolk and a tablespoon of water, then mix until you form the dough into a ball. Lay out some plastic wrap and flatten the dough ball into a disc. It would be better to fix the edges so that they're smooth and not cracked. This will help when rolling out the dough later, which I unfortunately learned the hard way. Then wrap the dough in the plastic wrap and refrigerate for 15 minutes. After you take the dough out of the refrigerator, roll it out onto a tart pan with a removable bottom. I decided to try out a method that I saw on the Great British Bake Off. I'm rolling it out so that it's slightly larger than the pan. Now transfer the dough to the rest of the tart pan by gently folding the edges in. Press the dough into the ridges of the pan. Here, I'm filling in the gaps where I didn't have enough dough. You can't see this part of the shell once you add the pastry cream, so don't worry too much about what it looks like. Once you're finished with transferring the dough into the tart pan, use a fork to poke multiple holes into the bottom of the pastry crust so that the dough stays flat. Then put some aluminum foil in the tart shell, then add dried beans, rice, or baking beans into the foil to help with keeping the dough flat and weighted down. Transfer the tart shell onto a sheet pan, then bake for 10 minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. I lost the footage for this part, so I'll just explain it. Remove the pastry shell from the oven after 10 minutes and remove the foil and baking beans. Then remove the excess crust with a serrated knife and bake for an additional 15 minutes. Now we'll move on to the pastry cream filling. Whisk together granulated sugar, cornstarch, and salt in a saucepan.
Whisk the milk and egg yolks in a glass measuring cup, then add it to the saucepan along with butter and bring it to a boil over medium heat. I've made this recipe several times with either almond milk or 1% milk, and they both seem to yield the same results. Let the mixture boil for one minute while you're still whisking. The cornstarch will thicken the filling. It should look like this when it's ready. Take the pan off the heat as soon as you see the filling thicken. Then stir in the vanilla. Strain the pastry cream through a fine mesh sieve to ensure that no cooked egg or eggshells gets into the final product. Don't forget the pastry cream underneath the strainer. Cover the pastry cream with plastic wrap by pressing the plastic wrap onto the surface of the pastry cream. This will prevent a skin from forming on top of the pastry cream. Then refrigerate it for at least two hours. When you remove the pastry cream out of the refrigerator, it will look a little odd and gelatinous, but just use a whisk or a spoon to give it a stir and it'll come together and look like pastry cream again. Okay, now it's time to assemble. Fill the tart crust with the pastry cream. The pastry cream should be enough for about two eight or nine inch fruit tarts or multiple smaller fruit tarts. For this tart, I'm using blueberries. You can use whatever your favorite fruit is. I love berry tarts, so that's what I usually make. You can arrange the berries neatly or you can pour everything at once for a more rustic look. Here are some other tarts that I've made in the past with strawberries, blackberries, kiwis, and peaches. You can see these tarts and my other baked goods and creations on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Now for the final touch. I usually make a glaze for my tarts so that the fruits are super shiny and glossy, but today I went with powdered sugar. And here's the final result. Be sure to let the tart set in the refrigerator so that it's easier to cut and serve. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you tried out this recipe. 
See you next time. First, Please start, start by adding channel and like this too with all purpose flour. flour. Let's get started. The and then crust add is also in your butter. To as the with clean crust, hands, pastry, mix until you get a sandy or the texture. Tart shell. You can also make the pastry dough with a food processor.